Hi guys, Jamie Oliver here. I hope you're all really, really well. Okay, I'm gonna introduce to you my new stainless steel range, and at the same time, I'm gonna cook a beautiful pasta dish. This is orecchietti with sprouting broccoli, garlic, anchovies, chili. It's an absolute classic, and me and my family absolutely love it. So, first up, uh, I'm boiling some water here. Uh, get yourself some broccoli. You can use regular broccoli, uh, but in season right now, we have this beautiful stuff sprouting broccoli. What I want to do first, just take these lovely little sprues off. They're so beautiful, okay? And then take that stalk off and keep the stalks. Now, don't throw this away. It might not look great, but it's going to give you incredible flavour. So just take this off like that. Grab these stalks here. Turn that up. Lid on. Okay, now split some of these sprouting broccoli in half. That's really about cooking at the same time and having a delicate harmony with the pasta, okay? So let's turn on the gas. Now, uh, lots of little details make this pan so fantastic. The rounded edge here, really important for successful tossing. Makes you a much quicker, uh, more able cook. Um, having the non-stick surface, four layers of pro metal non-stick surface and T-fail just do it so fantastically well. The thermo spot. When you heat that up, you're gonna see that change color. And when it changes color, that's the temperature that's perfect for really launching into your cooking, right? And then you've got the handles. They look nice. They feel gorgeous. Nice and sturdy and safe. All of this stuff can go in the dishwasher. It can go on an electric. Uh, it's absolutely induction compatible. Gas, no problem at all. So I'm going to put that on the heat now. Because it's got an aluminium sandwich base, which is one centimetre thick, this is going to heat up nice and quick. But most importantly, nice and evenly. So you'll see this change colour now. That's perfect time uh, to slice up some garlic. Go in with some olive oil, our garlic, some dried chilli, and I'm just going to fry that off. And then about five or six fillets of anchovy, and these will melt away to nothing. You won't see them. These are going to create the most fantastic depth of flavour. So I'm going to put that on a chopping board, chop it up any old how. We're going to go in with about a tablespoon of capers and the broccoli. So I'm going to fry now, and this is where the side of the pan is really important. Can you see how I'm just doing that little rocking action? And that allows me to toss what I'm cooking. And I'm just going to steal some water from here. And then about 80 to 100 grams of pasta per person. So I'll do this for four. Give it a little stir. Any nutrients we've lost from this broccoli stalks here, that's cooking into that pasta now. Season that water. Don't be afraid to do that. This pasta takes about 10, 12 minutes, okay? So this can now be turned down. Let's let that simmer and almost cook it away again. And then about two minutes before the pasta's ready, we're gonna put this beautiful, fresh, sprouting broccoli into that water so it's just cooked and delicious and vibrant and full of color. And then all the frumpy kind of deep flavors in this. And then I'll show you how to plate it up and finish it. Okay guys, so this stuff has been cooking for about 10 minutes, okay? I also took the liberty of putting the sprouting broccoli in just for one minute. Look at that, you can see how wonderfully fresh that is. We haven't lost any color. Uh, also here, look at this, look at the sauce. You can see it's intense. The water's almost cooked away again. Now, when you're cooking pasta, always really important to save some of the cooking water. Notice the shape of these handles really help the heat not get to them. So actually, even though that's been boiling for 15 minutes, I'm still holding it there. I'm gonna drain the pasta and the broccoli into a colander. And very importantly, keep some of that boiling water in the pan, okay? I'm gonna go straight into here. And then what I wanna do is just add a little of the cooking water. This spout makes it easier. We've now added the lips here for this exact reason. Whether you're doing gravies or sauces, you've got uh, weights and measurements in the pan as well. And also, in the lid, you've got the little holes there so you can actually drain your veg without having to use a colander, which is really, really handy. At this point in the recipe, just a little parmesan goes in. That cooking water and the cheese will really kind of emulsify to make a beautiful, delicate, shiny sauce, which is gorgeous, okay? Then get yourself a big platter. In you go. 
For me, this is gorgeous because this is a wonderful comfort food dish. And you can see how easily it comes out of the pan. It shows you how brilliant that thick, you know, non-stick pan and the edges. It all works beautifully well together. Long strokes of Parmesan over the top. And that, my friends, is a wonderful dish. So, guys, a lovely, lovely Italian orecchietti with a wonderful spicy sprouting broccoli sauce made by me with a little bit of help from our friends at Tifal. Thank you very much. <laughs>